Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27938. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in the File Explorer, Microsoft is introducing AI actions whenever you right click on a file. So for example, if I were to right click on an image, I'm going to have this new option AI actions in which I'm going to be able to do a visual search with Bing, blur background with photos, erase objects with photos, or remove background with paint. For example, visual search with Bing will open up the Microsoft Edge and it's going to try to search for images that are similar to my image. Blur background with photos will open up the photos app directly into the background removal section and I can have different options that I can use to customize this and then save my image. Erase objects with photos yet again it will open up the photos app directly into the erase object section where again i can use the generative erase and so on and finally i have removed background with paint which will open up of course the new paint app with the background already removed from the photo of course this is not a good example because the photo is basically the background it doesn't have any other background so overall i think this is a nice addition and i think it can be pretty useful to have these quick actions to do whenever you have a photo and hopefully microsoft will introduce this for more file types for example, text and so on. Microsoft is also bringing back the big clock in the notification center and you can enable this by right clicking on the date and time and then click on adjust date and time. And then if you scroll down a bit, you're going to have here the option show time in notification center and you can turn this on or off. Inside the settings app, we're also getting inside privacy and security. And if you scroll down at the bottom, the new section or page text and image generation, which will basically show you the specific apps that will use the generative AI models. We have certain options here here, for example, to enable or disable this, let apps use text and image generation, also recent activity. Now talking about a few fixes in this build related to reset and recovery, Microsoft fixed the issue causing the reset function or reset this PC function under system recovery and then reset this PC to not work in the previous build. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where in dark mode, the red color used for a low space drive in this PC might be unexpectedly light colored in the latest builds. Some of the other colors might also have been incorrect, including that black is used for a space remaining instead of a more visible color. And they also fixed an issue where File Explorer was unexpectedly not showing thumbnails for video files containing certain EXEF metadata. Related to Windows management instrumentation, some performance improvements are added in this build to the registry scanning section of this. Related to login and lock screen, they fixed an issue which was causing some of the sign-in options to have a blank icon. Related to search, Microsoft did some work to help reduce instances where search may get stuck in a loading state. Related to input, they fixed an issue where if you typed on the touch keyboard with the kangi, bopo emoji, or Japanese IME, it wouldn't work if you had switched to using the previous version of the IME. Related to the task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing task manager to freeze when going to the performance section recently for some insiders. And some other fixes fixed an issue which was causing some insiders to experience bug checks, green screens with error IRLQL not less or equal, citing an issue with NTOSKRNL.exe in the latest canary builds when attempting to enter safe mode. And they also fixed an issue causing some insiders to experience bug checks with error critical process died. There are also two new known issues in this build, one of them related to picks, which will be fixed in a future build and also some issues related to audio. But of course, it is the canary channel, so we can expect issues like these. So this was basically the latest build for the canary channel, build 27938. Make sure to check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post for more information. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe Subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.